Hey everyone, my name is Kendra. I'm a Diamond Beach Party coach, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about the three battle behaviors. And um, that's kind of the cornerstone to being a successful beach body coach is the three three battle behaviors. And I will admit I have struggled and still do struggle with consistently doing them every single day. But I promise you, if you take a look at any successful coach in beach body, they practice the three battle behaviors every single day. And it's something that they never, never, never miss. So I wanted to just share with you a little bit about what they are and what they mean to me and how I use them every single day. Basically what they are is, the first one is invite, invite, invite. The second one is be proof the product works. And the third one is personal development. Now, invite, invite, invite. So this is probably the hardest three vital behavior that I had to consistently practice every single day because I'm not, normally I'm not someone who likes to invite people to things. I want people to come to me. Um, so, I had to really think about how inviting could take place. And personal invites is awesome. If you are the type of person that is comfortable inviting someone to your group, perfect. I envy you. Please tell me how you do it. But if you're someone like me and you prefer, you know, not to one-on-one -on -one invite with people, I would just do general invites through your sharing. And what I do basically is, you know, if it's before challenge group or two weeks before challenge group, or I really want to advertise for people, I'm going to post, you know, a workout move or, um, something that I ate that day in, on social media. And then, you know, in the caption, in the text, I'm going to say, Hey, if you ever need, you know, meal plan help, or if you ever need, um, accountability or support, please reach out. Let me know. I'd love to work with you. And that right there is kind of like a soft little invite. And that counts as an invite in my book, it does. So um, you kind of have to think about what is natural for you because it's really important as beach body coaches that we are not as natural as possible. So if you're posting on social media every single day and you're not yourself and you're literally like looking at other coaches and you're posting exactly what they post, your friends and family and coworkers, people that know you, they're gonna know that that's not truly you. So really just keep it as natural as possible and keep it as comfortable as possible. So that is kind of what I do. Um, obviously, within this last year of beach, being a beach body coach, when I first became a coach, I was really uncomfortable with inviting. But now I've kind of figured out and I finesse how I'd like to coach or how I like to invite. So I definitely do those soft little invites where I just say, hey, I'm doing this. If you want to join, let me know. So then they can come to me if they are ready to, you know, re um reevaluate their health and fitness goals and so I can help them. Another thing that I do is I send people invites letting them know that you know my team were inviting people on Facebook to a health and fitness support group on you know whatever date. Um, we're sharing recipes, tips, and we are going to be meal planning together. Is this something that you'd be interested in um, hearing more about? And that's kind of just a general little invite as to, you know, this is what I'm doing. If not, no worries, but just wanted to put it out there for you. That's another invite that you can, um, put out there and you can invite people to. So that's another way of doing it. Or if you're comfortable enough, I would, um, reach out to people and just say, Hey, I know you and I talked a few months ago about reaching your health and fitness goals. I'm doing this group. Would you like to join or hear more information about it? So kind of just, knowing who you are, knowing your personality and feeling comfortable doing what you're doing. But you should also kind of push yourself outside of your comfort zone because that really does help sometimes. So that is inviting. Next is being proof the product works. So I will admit, took me about two months into my business to really fully understand the 21 day fix because that is the program that I started with. I love Shakeology. I drink Shake Shakeology every day, but the 21 day fix was really hard for me because I felt like I couldn't fully meal prep and I couldn't fully follow through with the whole program because I was running these groups and I was involved in a few groups that weren't mine. So I felt like I didn't need to, but I will say I didn't notice any results. And if you don't have results with these products, whether it's, you know, physically, mentally, and emotionally, you guys, no one is going to want to join your groups. So it's super important that we as coaches are 
practicing what we are preaching. And if you're not practicing what you're preaching, you cannot expect to be successful. So it's super important to every day work out, every day drink your Shakeology, every day try your best to do meal planning. And more importantly, make sure that you're doing the program that you are signed up to do from day one until day 30 or day one until day 21. It's so important to always, always be consistent when you're doing these programs because if you're not, you're going to get asked so many different questions that you're not going to know anything about because you haven't done the program. And if you're not meal prepping for the 21 day fix and someone's struggling and you can't relate to that, then you're not going to be able to relate and they're not going to listen to you or they're not going to relate to you or believe you that it worked for you. So super important to be proof the product works. And to tie the two together, inviting and being proof, that's what I do every single day. I um, post, you know, like a sweaty selfie or something with my meal plan or anything that's 21 day fix related. I'm posting that on social media. That is considered an invite in my book. So do what's comfortable for you and kind of assess what is um, at your comfort level. Um, third uh, vital behavior is personal development. And I will say, Personal development was the number one three vital behavior that I always kind of skip over. And it took me about nine or 10 months into my business where I made personal development a non-negotiable. And personal development can be, if you're not a reader, I cannot read to save my life just because I have, my mind is elsewhere all the time. So I always had YouTube videos on for questions that I have on Beachbody coaching or social media questions. I'm always listening to something on YouTube. I'm always listening to something motivational, whether it's a podcast or YouTube, um, Les Brown, or, um, I don't know, Jeff Olson, any of the personal development books or anything else that I'm reading or listening to, or if I have any questions on, you know, how to build my platform or how to hashtag anything like that. I'm always making sure that I am doing personal development. It's so, so important. And there's going to be times during your business where you're going to feel non-motivated. There's going to be time in, times in your business where it's going to be slow and you feel defeated, like you can't do this business or that you feel like you're not good enough. And I swear on my life, personal development will drag you out of that. Personal development will make you confident. It will make you understand that you can do this and that even through times where it's slow, just work on yourself and everything else will come. So those are three vital behaviors. That's what I use on an everyday basis and it takes practice to practice them every single day. So just keep plugging along and um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day guys. Bye.